basically dangling over the cliff of utter defeat. For you see, uh, there has completed their work, piecing together what the Americans have been up to, and the revelations are astounding. They almost have an atomic bomb. With this new weapon, all of our work could potentially be undone in a flash of atomic energy. Therefore, you must complete your campaign against the United States as quickly as possible, or we will surely face the wrath of their new weapon. We still need you to occupy various state capitals across the region, but be sure to prioritize targets in New Mexico here. It's clear the Americans are tooling up for a major counteroffensive across the Great Plains, but to entrench and wait for them would only complete their objective to buy time. Meet the American armored assault head on and break through it with your superior panzers and new wonder weapons. After that, you will face a trio of natural obstacles you must overcome. Don't let the Rocky Mountains stall your assault. Focus a breakthrough at these passes. The rough terrain of the Nevada and Arizona deserts are equally not to be underestimated. And finally, the Sierra Nevada mountains stand between you and the city of the West Coast. Again, Focus breakthrough on passes such as this one. Whatever happens here, it has been an honor to serve with you. Dismissed. All right, welcome back to Pentacor 2, folks. So, the uh, East, unyielding. You cannot be suppressed by enemy fire. Okay, new hero. All right, so let's have a look here. Uh, El Paso, Santa Fe, Denver, and then, oh, there's the Rio Grande, and then across the mountains, Phoenix, San Diego, Los Angeles, Vegas, Salt Lake City, San Jose, and San Francisco. All right. Now, he was talking about new wonder weapons. That sounds interesting. And we have 27,771 prestige, so we should be able to buy some of them. Let's have a look. We have some new infantry. Let's compare them. They're basically just a downgrade, except they work faster. I guess that's the new, kind of the new Wehr infantry. And then we have the Volksgrenadier which is better on soft and hard attack, better initiatives, move faster, but worse ground and close defense than the Pioneer. There's still six close defense. Let's compare it to the Grenadier. So worse defense, but better close defense in general. Okay, not too interesting. Tanks, we have a new couple of new ones. We have the mouse. 34 heart attack. 32 ground defense, 17 air defense. A little bit less against close defense. A lot of initiative, but man, it's slow. Three only. What about the E75? That is slow as well. It only moves four, but 32 heart attack. Better defense all round, except close defense. Better initiative, but it only moves forward and costs two more slots. We'll see. Recon, nothing new. Anti-tank, we have. We were using the Stuk. We now have the Yacht Panzer. With 25 heart attack instead. It moves the same amount. Better ground defense, better air defense, better close defense and cost one more but that might well be worth it and then we have the 12.8 centimeter pack 32 heart attack 32 heart attack yeah uh, wow horrible d defense and movement of course okay then we have a new flat gun which has much better, better ground defense, but other than that, it's the same all round. Excuse me just a second. Sorry about that, my cat was making a lot of noise. It is self-powered, but eh. 
artillery nothing new fighter oh we have a lot of new stuff here the ta 152h which is basically a downgrade but it also costs two less the Dornier 335A, which is also basically a downgrade, plus one less. The Hinkel 162A, a bit of a downgrade on the offense, upgrade on the defense. Move slower, but other than that, it's basically the same. And then we have the, what's this? Gotha GO 229A Flying Wing. Okay, how you look. 24 in offense, better. Initiative moves the same and a little bit better at uh, ground attack. So that is an upgrade all around. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, and then we have uh, tech bombers. Tech bombers. We have a new one. We were using uh, these guys. We have two new ones. Uh, this one is basically just a downgrade. That's all it is. A downgrade. Not interesting. And this one is a downgrade as well. It moves further, but and has better air defense but other than that it's just a downgrade okay and oh uh, we forgot strat bombers i don't think there's anything new there there is uh, we have a hinkel 177a in our reserves let's take a look this one we already looked at it's basically an upgrade uh, but also costs one more slot this is upgrade on hard attack downgrade on soft attack but it's much better in defense and it moves further but it also costs one more downgrade on ships and much better in defending in the air but I don't really I don't really like the strat bombers in this game to be honest except for ship stuff so yeah all right uh, as per usual, I will upgrade and reinforce and deploy, and uh, then we'll take it from there. So be back in a sec, guys. Right, so everything is upgraded and deployed, so let's look at what's happened. We still just have our two infantry, because they seem kind of useless. I was actually thinking of getting rid of them and getting some more tanks in. We have six tanks, we have two E-75s, slow movers, but hard hitters. And then we have our four Panth Panther Gs, uh, which are all with some nice heroes. So these two guys are hit and run, which means that they won't return fire. Uh, these guys are superior maneuver, consolidator, anti-tank support. Fast Learner, Unyielding, Avenger. So Avenger means that if he's lost strength, if he's lost uh, pips or units, then he'll hit harder. Then we have one Recon. I upgraded these guys to the Yak Panzers. So that's quite a bit of an upgrade um, from the Stuk. Uh, where is uh, there it's that one we upgraded to no it's not it's we have the stoop and we're upgrading to jack tiger i think it was no i upgraded them uh, they're better than they were uh, I'm pretty sure did, did I get something wrong here 
I have the stuck. Ah, okay. So no, because now we're downgrading, right? So uh, the Yak Panzer has 25 instead of 23 in heart attack, and better defense across the board. It moves one slower. Uh, no, it moves the same. It costs one less, and it's a bit cheaper. But I like our new Yak Panzer. It's uh, hard hitting and good defense. So that's good. We still have our banged up Gustav. We can't replace that, so that's why it's only at five strength. Uh, I brought in an artillery. We had a 15 centimeter artillery in the reserves. I brought that in and upgraded it to a Hummel. And then I changed two of our attack fighters over to be, or attack bombers over to be fighters. And they are all now the flying wing which is a big upgrade as well. And I'm thinking six fighters, because these guys really don't do all that much. Uh, but the fighters, we need to take out their planes and we need to take them out fast. So that's the idea there. Okay, let's end deployment. Uh, yeah. That's just because of the... Um, the Gustav it was saying that by the way uh, these are not as high over strength as they were and that's because I needed a few points so I down strength them a little bit they were at 14 most of them now they're at 12 and 13 these are only at 11 because if you upgrade them to 12 then it actually costs two uh, core slots instead of one and I didn't think that was worth it and the same with the planes, if you upgrade it to 12, then it would cost two core slots, I believe. So I didn't want to do that. All right, let's see. Well, I suppose we might as well start with the Gustav. Over on there. And then I think he just keeps going. Actually, let's send a plane out this way and see. I don't like getting up close and personal with their airfield. Let's, oh, we lost one strength there. That's okay, I guess. You come over here. And then we have fighters down here as well. Doesn't seem like they have any anti-air here, which is good. All right, that's a couple of their planes down. We send you up here. Yeah, I knew that there would be fighters there, but that's okay because we have one fighter left that we can send out. I can't reach, dang it. Right, I guess you just come in here then. Okay, but you can definitely move out. You can come up behind. Oh, uh, you actually need to finish that guy off. And I think we'll just leave Gustav back here with the fighter over top. Whoops. Did 
Dang it, that was supposed to be an overrun. Okay, and then we have something up here. Let's overrun him. Ah, uh, we didn't overrun him. Dang it. Move you up here. Then you can come in here. So, there. That's everything moved. I really hope this guy does, doesn't go for the Gustav, that they don't know that the Gustav is there. We'll see. Ouch, seven, five, that hurts, or four, well, that wasn't too bad, three, one. That's gonna hurt though. Surrendered. So yeah, <laughs> infantry is useless. Uh... All right. Uh, you. One six, I can live with that. Uh, zero four. Uh, Gustav, I don't know what you're gonna do yet. These guys can't reach up there. Uh, 2-5. Suppose I'll take that. Alright. 3-6. I suppose I'll take that as well. Why is that 3-2? Three, five. Guess we'll have to take three, five. Four, four. That is not great. Up here, five, three, two, eight.
Okay. Our artillery is a bit in the open, I'd say. But there's nothing we can really do about that. What we could do is... Buy a Panther G and stick in here. Should have done that from the beginning. Just gotten rid of the infantry and just go gone with Panzers, I think. You get replacements. Two, four. Let's come up here. Like that. And then Gustav. Uh, you move up here. Actually, no. You take a shot. And then you move up here and you take a shot and you come in here and come up there take that out okay Uh, we're missing you guys. Tank, tank. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking that these guys should head down here and help. At least one or two of them. Okay, that clears most of this down here out. I'll leave my artillery a little bit behind. Okay. That should be everything you can move. He won't be able to go too far. You can only go one spot, really. Okay, I think that's the turn. Let's pull you back here. Maybe it's a bit safer.
Really need to do something about their damn planes. Oh, seven? Are you kidding me? There goes our recon. I am losing some units here, man. That won't do much. Plus one to ground defense survivor for the E-75 up here, which is gonna get replacements. And so are you. We have four slots. I can't really use four slots for that much. Okay, we're pushing forward. Right. Can you get up here for support? You can. Plus three to heart attack. Nice. Okay. Gustav is just so useful, it's ridiculous. Four, five, two, seven. Two, eight. Okay. You can still move. All right. That thing's gone. We still need to deal with that infantry though. Which is kind of annoying. All right, planes. You are going to need replacements. And you are going to need replacements. And you are going to need replacements. Oh, ambush. Shit. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Are we in a spot where we can bomb anything? We're gonna need to get over top of Gustav. And then we aren't really in a spot where we can bomb anything. They're gonna get shot down if I do that. Okay. That's the turn. 
Ambush, nice. Nine. Hoo hoo hoo, that hurt. All their strat bombers are really kinda useless. Not entirely useless, but kinda. Dang it, there goes our artillery. All right. All right, another tanks. It's crazy. Uh, you're out of supply. Which isn't great. Come back there. Alrighty, so we're pushing across there, here, I really don't want to do that. Four, three, five, two. Hmm. I think I might just push on Denver a bit. Doesn't seem like there's too much in there. You over top there. useful there's you here takes a lot of planes to take one of theirs down Okay, this E75 is already gone, I think that was everything, yeah. Now, some more hit and run units would have been awesome. Some uh, some of the guys that give you uh, no supply cost would have been really nice. We don't we didn't get a single uh, supply reduction hero, which I think is weird. So 
so that worked out well for me. Okay, we have some planes up there. We have a plane there which is being replaced. I don't want that. So let's take you down. And then you. Ooh, zero 07. Kind of like that. You can't reach there. So you might as well just try this guy. Okay. All right. So we're making an indent in there. Five two. Why is it five two? That's crazy. Three five. That's better. Three four. Not much better. Nine zero. Nine zero. Hmm. Nine zero isn't gonna work for me. Okay, that almost took that down. Actually, let's send you up here instead. Okay. Sure, one would work for me, but you won't get any air cover then. So you just come over here, Gustav. You already fired. All right, down here then. All right, plus two to heart attack, nice. I think I want to leap replace you. Okay, I think that's more or less it for the turn. This E75 needs to move forward. Uh, actually, you can come in there and have anti tech cover. I think that'll work. All right, and the turn. Yeah, and it's encircled now. Which means it needs to get out of there. Three, three. Coming up here together with you. Nice. Then we'll pull pull one back from the city so that it can't attack. Or will we we'll just delete replace? I guess. I think that makes more sense. Okay, Gustav. All 
already. Okay, here we go. There he goes. You come over top. Come up here and take him out. Zero two, I can live with that. Three ten, I can live with that as well. Okay. Very good. El Paso is ours. Santa Fe could be ours. Santa Fe is ours. And so it really doesn't work for me. Um, Move you up here. Could only put you there. So you know what? You just stay there. You could move across the river. I don't think I want to do that just yet. You're just staying there. This is a tough battle, guys. This is a tough battle. So in the turn. Okay. Now I am going to need you to do something about that. Two five. Let's move you in here. I need to take that out so it doesn't go take Wichita or something. It's really annoying. Uh, all right. Wow, a 15 presidential plane. Nice. Let's try and take that down. That should be a bummer for the Americans, right? Losing their presidential plane. And we don't know where Gustav is going yet. I actually think he might be going up here to help a bit with that. Which means that he is covered already. Tenth Rangers. Zero two that isn't too bad actually. No, it's two two, but only two suppressed it said. Hmm. 
That's a long time. Okay, we're across the Rio Grande. Uh, I still want to take down that presidential plane. goes and then I think we'll rebase up here okay looking good what about down here did these guys do their stuff yet they did and we're finally breaking their backs. What are they? Are they Rangers? No, they are US Heavy Infantry. The Rangers seems more amenable. US Airborne. Oh crap, we need to take that down before it lands somewhere back here. That would be bad. <laughs> that would be kind of bad. Oh crap. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. I think we'll let Gustav fire a couple of times on that. Or once at least, and then once on that. Before we start attacking, because that's just too many casualties for my liking. Too many casualties for my liking. So yeah, that's the end of the turn and the end of the episode, guys. We're making good progress. We've taken El Paso, Santa Fe. We're about to take Denver. We are across the Great Plains and pushing on Phoenix and soon Salt Lake City as well. So it's, it's not half bad. It's not half bad. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.